Hey everyone, my name is Eric Chapman and I'm our Assistant Director for Freshman Admission at USC Upstate. I wish I was there to talk to you in person about our application today, but since I'm not, I want to take a brief moment to go over our application with you. This brief application tutorial will guide you through how to apply to USC Upstate and what to do after you've submitted your application. To access the USC Upstate application, simply go to our website at uscupstate.edu and click Apply located up at the top right of the screen. Once you click Apply, you'll go to First Time User to create your login ID and PIN number. Once you click First Time User to create your login ID and PIN, simply enter the information as indicated here. Do keep in mind that the login ID is case sensitive. For your PIN number, you will need to be entering at least six digits and it will need to be all numbers. Once you create your login ID, and your PIN number and create your account, you'll select USC Upstate from the list of campus options. After you selected Upstate from the campus options menu, you'll select your application type as Upstate Freshman. As you continue on to the next page, you'll select your entry term and enter your first and last name. Do keep in mind as you go through the application that any section that has a red asterisk by it will require a entry into that field. Once you click on Fill Out Application, you'll come to the application checklist page. Start with the first section and complete all of the sections as listed here. Once you've completed all the sections, you'll come to the application checklist again, which will have a check box for each section that indicates all the required information has been filled in. Once you get to this page, click application is complete and agree to the application agreement terms on the next page. After agreeing the terms, you'll be able to select your waiver option from the drop down menu. You can use the College Application Day waiver all the way through November the 15th. If you're applying after November the 15th, you can use any of the applicable fee waivers or pay the $45 application fee. After you apply to USC Upstate, we we'll need to eat your high school transcript and your test scores. You can send those to admissions at uscupstate.edu. For your test scores, we are test optional this year, so if you are uh, in one of those situations where you didn't get to take the test due to COVID, you can simply submit your high school transcript to us and if you have a 3.0 or higher GPA and in a class rank in the top 30%, you can be admitted without the ad admission of test scores. If you do need to submit your test scores, we are looking for a 19 ACT or a 950 on the SAT. Students, keep in mind that even though you don't have to submit test scores to be admitted, you will need test scores to qualify for any scholarships. So those are state scholarships like Life Hope or Palmetto Fellows or any of our university scholarships. So if you haven't had a chance to take a test yet or if you need to retake that to meet the requirements, I do recommend that you try to get scheduled for one of those tests to make sure that you are able to fully qualify for any available scholarships. If you have any questions throughout the application process, please contact any one of the freshman team members of myself or Macy Gaither and we would love to talk to you and answer your questions and we hope to talk to you soon. Now that you've applied to USC Upstate, your next step is to come out for a campus tour. We have those every day Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. We also host Fab Friday and open house events. You can check those out online at uscupstate.edu and clicking the visit link at the top right of the page. We hope to see you on campus soon and can't wait to welcome you to the Spartan family in the fall.